Alrighty guys, we got ourselves a special double review, and once again we're in the Classics range, because the Classics line, I feel, is by far the best Transformers line uh, to be created and released. So who are we looking at this time? Well, we are looking at Transformers Classics Optimus Prime and Transformers Classics Megatron. Optimus is a uh, a flat nose semi, and Megatron is a Nerf gun. Why a Nerf gun? Well, the original Megatron was a Walther P thirty eight with some unrealistic attachments, like a um, like a scope, a silencer, and a um, an armrest, or is it a stock? I'm not really a gun expert, so. Don't be asking me about gun information, so. Anyway, um, and plus, another reason why Megatron is a Nerf gun is because, um, there are American laws which prevent Megatron from turning into a realistic gun. So, that's probably why G2 Megatron was a tank and, uh, other Megatrons were a list of other things, like a, like a T-Rex, a Red Dragon, uh, a tank, a jet, uh, a car, um, yeah. But the fact that we have a, um, some kind of gun for uh, Megatron in the Classics range, that's pretty nice. Uh, the semi-truck, like, Optimus has pretty much been a semi-truck for the longest time. The only exceptions I could think of is the fire engine from Robots in Disguise, the battle truck from Cybertron, uh, the fire engine from Animated, uh, and I think that's it. And if you could hear um, some sort of like pelting or whatever, it's starting to rain outside, so yeah. So, Optimus. He's your classic red and blue semi-truck with uh, some silver, some black, and gray. We also got some yellow headlights, uh, translucent blue windows, and there are actually, like, seats and a steering wheel inside, so that's pretty nice. Um, now, a lot of people do this differently. A lot of people have uh, these bits, like, down. I like to bring them up so they act as taillights. Or something. Anyway. Um, he's got six wheels. He rolls very nicely. And uh, he has a rub sign. On the passenger side of his cab. And he is a Autobot. Megatron on the other hand. Um, he's kind of a. Um, like a super light gray. An off white. Uh, he's. We have purple, uh, some gold paint, um, a little bit of orange, and some neon green. <sighs> yeah. And uh, the scope here, um, it's a translucent uh, green, and uh, there are some actual crosshairs. And somebody's calling me. Well, I'm doing a review, so... I'm just going to let them uh, leave a voice message. Anyway, so um, there are crosshairs, and you can't see through them. Um, however, the vision isn't exactly all that great, um, but oh well. But at least you can look through it. Actually, let's see. Yeah, it's kind of blurry. You can't really uh, make out much of anything. <sighs> anyway, um, we do have a trigger, and um, my fingers aren't exactly, like, super big. I don't, like, when I put my finger in there, I don't, I don't really push the trigger back very far, but um, if you have small enough hands, you can put your finger in there and... Yeah. It does make a clicking sound. However, it does not fire anything. 
well, one, we have this orange plug on it, and two, because of the nature of the transformation and how everything is put together, it would be next to impossible to make this fire anything and have a fully functioning, like, robot, too. How they managed to pull it off with the G1 toy, I will never understand. <sighs> Man. Anyway. So, let's get these guys transformed. I'm going to do Megatron first. Um, first things first, you want to take uh, the sides of the gun and open these up. And great googly boogly, it is a mess in there. But don't worry, this mess can be turned into a robot. Anyway, so once you have these side panels open, you can fold in these uh, pegs and clips. Turn that to the side. Get the scope out of the way. And as you can see, a panel already opened up, so might as well flip the hand out now and close it. And then you can take uh, the upper torso, bring it up and turn it around like that. Plug that side on to be the right arm, and then take this piece here, which is the left arm, flip it around, turn the shoulders around, bring this arm down, and flip this hand out. And then bring the legs down. And plug that whole section into his back. And I kind of like to uh, angle these back just a little bit. Kind of gives a cool effect. Then you can slide his shin guards up if you want. And then fold out the feet and heels. And I like to angle them a certain way to help him stand better. And then, finally, open the chest, bring the head up, and voila! We have Megatron in robot mode. Yeah, he doesn't look very G1 accurate, but you know what? I still like this, like, reimagining of Megatron. Um... The only thing I don't like are these uh, side panels acting as wings or whatever. I honestly don't think they really fit the Megatron character all that much. Oh well. Now for Optimus here, um, what you want to do is you want to remove his uh, weather vane up top. And remove the smokestacks, place those aside, and then take these uh, blue panels, and then fold them to the back, bring the uh, lower back of the truck down, these will obviously become his legs, fold up his feet, and then fold his lights up to become his knee pads, then take the sides of the cab, fold those out, take the bumper and flip it up like that, and then you want to bring these sections forward to become his arms, and then at this point I like to turn the uh, chest around, and then turn his arms up, bring his hands out, and then I like to, uh, well, when you wrap the, um, the cab pieces around, I like to turn it to the back. I've seen other people, like, do it like that. Some people do it like this to where it's like a, a fist cover or a boxing bit. But I, I just like to turn it back like that. And finally, open up his back, bring his head up, close his back, and turn his head around so that you can see his very primy face. And that is Classics Optimus Prime. 
Now you can do a couple things with uh, his leftover truck bits. Like, um, you can combine them sort of like this, and then plug it onto his back to be like weapon storage. Or, uh, I'm trying to be careful with these. You can attach them with the smokestacks the other way. And then you can plug it onto the back and flip it like that to be like shoulder cannons. But what I like to do is I like to uh, turn each of them into their respective guns. Now for the smokestacks, what you want to do is you want to come inside and flip these chambers out. And then you fold it in half and flip out the handle and you have his laser blaster. So place that in his right hand and he's got a good gun right there. Now his ion blaster is made out of his wind vane. A lot of people like to um, place it back on his back, like how it was in vehicle mode. I don't. I think he looks cooler with two guns. So, oh, sorry, I didn't explain this. You fold the sides up like this, bring this section around, and then you flip out the barrel. Yeah. It's kind of a big gun, but I like it. And now, He's ready to blast the Decepticons to hell and all hell to smithereens. Now this Autobot symbol, like, I applied that myself, so. Anyway, take a look at uh, his head. It's a very nice head sculpt, very Optimus Prime. And I also like uh, how they did his head crest and his antenna here. It's very very Optimus Prime. Now Megatron here, um, his weapon is attached. The scope becomes his fusion cannon, just like the G1 toy. Oh, and while Prime has the uh, rub sign, Megatron's Decepticon symbols are on the uh, sides of the scope, which is now his fusion cannon. And you also get one on his chest, so yeah, no rub signs on Megatron. As a matter of fact, I think Megatron is the only classics figure to not have a rub sign on him. And I'm pretty sure the G1 figure had a rub sign. Um, so yeah, difference there, but you know what? Oh well. And taking a look at that head sculpt, it's not exactly the classic Megatron look, but you still got the bucket head and you still have like the um like the evil grimace and uh the way they did uh this black uh paint thing here kind of reminds me of the Cybertron Megatron design or I should say Galvatron because I'm pretty sure Galvatron's horns were black and Megatron's were purple. Um but we also have the uh, green light piped eyes. And I honestly think they should have been red just like the Henkei version. But they were already using the green plastic for the uh, side bits. So, yeah. But at least his face is painted silver. So, there is that. Articulation from Megatron. His head can go all the way around, can look up and down. The arms can rotate at the shoulder. We have nice clicky ratchet joints. They can go in and out. They can bend at the elbow, turn at the elbow. Legs can go forward. They can go back. They can go out. They can bend at the knee, turn at the knee. And uh, these side panels, they can also uh, angle to whatever your preferred liking is. 
And because of the articulation in the arms, you can bring um, the fusion cannon up on top. But, unfortunately, his hands do not rotate, so... Now, I like this fusion cannon. Like, how do I describe it? Like, does anyone remember the original MP05 Megatron? That fusion cannon was like... Whoa, it's ridiculously oversized, and I think it made him, like, side-heavy. I never owned that figure, so I can't really confirm or deny it. Uh, this one, though, this actually looks better on him. Like, it's not way oversized like Masterpiece Megatron. It's not too tiny. It It's just the right size, if you ask me. Like, it, it fits him perfect. So... <laughs> yep. He, he, he doesn't look like the original Megatron, but he definitely looks like a Megatron. Now, Prime's articulation... Uh, let me remove that gun. His articulation, his head can go all the way around. Uh, he can look up and down, thanks to uh, that transformation hinge. The shoulders can go all the way around. They can go out... They can bend at the elbow. They can churn at the elbow. Um, his chest can twist. And he can also twist at the waist. His legs can go forward. They can go back. They can go out. Bend at the knee. Churn at the knee. And he's also got foot action thanks to the transformation. <sighs> yep. Classics Prime and Classics Megatron. <sighs> I like these figures. I really do. Um, this is definitely a great Voyager scale Optimus Prime. This Megatron, though, uh, while I do like him, I I have to give the hands down to the R.I.D. Megatron because, well, that Megatron, he's really complex, and because of how complex he is, like, it just, it just gives that extra vibe of evil. Like, he's so evil that he chooses to be complicated so that kids aren't going to be able to, like, figure him out and play with him or whatever. So, yeah. Um, I also want to bring in, for comparison, Transmetal 2 Megatron. Like... Oh, man. <sighs> yeah, the Classics Megatron is slightly taller. Or, whoa! Let's get Prime out of the way, so... Yeah. There's... Yeah, they're almost the same size, or... Actually, let's flatten... Flatten his heels. Yeah, actually, if you flatten his heels, then he's the same height as Transmetal 2 Megatron. So, yep, I was slightly off. So, let's get that out of the way. And. <laughs> Megatron's a whole head taller than Optimus. And speaking of Optimus, for comparison, here is Optimal Optimus. My favorite Transformer. I love this guy. He's big, he's beefy, and oh my god, he's just so cool. But yeah, there is that comparison. And Megatron fainted because he couldn't take how awesome Optimal Optimus is. 
<sighs> so yeah, I love these figures. They are definitely worth having in a collection. Um, yeah, I give Megatron uh, a 9 out of 10, and I give Optimus here a solid 10 out of 10. So, but of course, your opinions may vary. I love these guys. They are definitely worth having in your Transformers collection. <sighs> I love these guys. So, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. If you see them online or at a collectible shop, definitely get them. Uh, I just, I cannot recommend these guys enough. So, yeah. That has been my review of the Classic Leaders, Classics Optimus Prime and Classics Megatron. I am your host, Superhuman777. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you love this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit the bell so you get those email notifications every time I post or go live. And I will catch you guys next time.